Hey guys, it's Lisa and Bill. After Dark. Not Lisa and Bill After Dark. Not really. This is another Journey Bites. This is Journey Bites. Journey Bites is a subs monthly subscription service that focuses on one country's snacks. And the cool thing about Journey Bites is if you like like one specific snack out of this box, you can go to their website and order just that one specific snack. So I kind of think that that's fun. But this month's box is... This is what it looks like. Welcome to Mexico. Ah, Mexico, the land of beaches, tacos, al pastor, and micheladas. Micheladas. Oh man, I am butchering this. <laughs> What's not to love about this culturally rich country? With so much history and flavors, it's no wonder we chose Mexico as our second box. We all know that food is good with their impossibly fresh ingredients and ancient Aztec flavors. We'd go to Mexico solely, solely for a culinary tour around the country. However, Mexico also creates some of the most delicious snacks and candies out there. We included some of the sweetest, saltiest, spiciest, and tangiest delicacies we could find so that you can experience their yummy hidden treasures. All right. Um, I'm not worried about the spicy. It also gives you some fun facts and some trivia. You can go to journeybites.com if you want to sign up for this box. I will also put all the information in the description box down below. This tells you what's inside the box, which is cool. I like that because you could actually read about it and see what, what the hell you're getting here. Ooh, right out the bat I could see. We're gonna eat these last because these are my favorite. I actually buy these by the box. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, so this is what the box looks like. And everything looks so good. I'm so excited about this box. I already, we have a Mexican fresh market right by our house here and I go there sometimes just for the Mexican snacks because they have such good stuff. All right, so are these both the same? Those look the same. These are the same. Fuego. Well, we're only going to open one bag then. Chiritos. Chiritos. Fuego. With a little lime. This says, Chiritos Fuego made by Barcel. These thin noodle-like corn chips are covered with chili and lime flavors, giving your taste buds a kick. If you like Takis, these are a step up in both flavor and heat. All right. Hot nuts. Hot nuts. I hate those before. I've had those before. Oh, these are interesting. So they look like, they actually do look like, like German noodles, kind of. They look like spatzel to me. Except with flavor. Oh, I love these. I will be eating these when we're done with this video. I like them. A little bit spicy. You get the lime. You get a lime. I like them. And there's the spice. I'm good. Want your water? I'm probably gonna need it. These are really good. So, those are yummy. Water. Water. Agua. Agua. <laughs> Por favor. All right. So, Chiritos. Yay. All right. The next thing you pick next. What's next? I don't care. Oh, I always see these, but I never buy them. These are Japanese style peanuts. That's what they look like. Let me read about them. It says <laughs> made in, made in Mexico. Why are we getting Japanese style Japones. peanuts? Japones, Japones, made by Manzella. These are Japanese style peanuts from Mexico. In all seriousness, the peanuts are covered in a delicious, crunchy coating, making them an addicting and popular snack in Mexico, not Japan. Okay. All right then. All right. All right, wait a minute. Are we supposed to eat the whole thing? <laughs> Deja vu. Wait a minute. It says they're in a, crun a delicious crunchy coating. I can't. Mm -mm. That's not a shell, that's just a coating. Still, it has no taste, kind of, right? It doesn't really have a taste. It's just like um, the bar nuts. You know, like you go to the bar and they you get the bowl yeah. of those things. Watch your teeth. Eh. The one that opens everything with their teeth is telling me to watch it. Uh, I like those. You do? Mm hmm. Okay. Wait, what next? are these? 
Baritas. Baritas Fresca. Strawberry filled cookies. Baritas fres Fresa, Fresa made by Marinella. Baritas Fresa are a great snack that aren't Ooh. overly sweet. These are soft cookie bars and are filled with a sweet strawberry jelly, making it the perfect combination of taste and texture. This is going to be right up your alley. I'm not into this stuff. That's why he picked it. He <laughs> likes all this sweet, sweet stuff. Oh, and they're individually wrapped. Okay, you could leave the other one for Eric. So you got like that. It looks like two, a little hot dog. Four. Well, actually, there's four cookies, two. It does look like a hot dog. <laughs> it looks like a hot dog. <laughs> well, it's funny. It smells good. It smells like a, um, I can't put my, no, I don't really want to eat the whole thing. Oh, you got to take a bite out of it. You got to get the strawberry, too. Kind of wimp. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. It's not my thing. It's good. I don't want it. You want it? It's okay. That's just not my thing. I'd rather eat the chips. What? I'm working on the strawberry. It's like, um... When you say it, I'm going to be like, yes, because I can't think of it either. One of the licorices. It's not a Twizzler. It's one of the licorices. That's what it tastes like. No, the breading's a little dry, but all right. So I don't the name, the real thin one, the shoestring licorice. That's what it tastes like. Oh yeah, you're right. Hmm, it was okay. You liked it. Breading's a little too dry though. Mm. Right, sir. Cranky. Cranky. Cranky says, Cranky, made by Ricolino. Cranky Where's treats. The house cranky <laughs> treats. Where are your shoes out? <laughs> cranky treats combine. What are you saying? Nothing. Cranky Crankiest. treats combine chocolate and corn flakes for a crispy sweet snack. Cranky is perfect for those that enjoy crunchy and sweet treats. These are chocolate covered corn flakes. This is going to be interesting. Let me taste. All right. Bimbo. It's okay. They look like giant um, cocoa crispies. Yeah, they're like, there's nothing to them. I mean, they're okay. I wouldn't buy them. Reminds me of a cocoa crispy. All right, so De La Rosa's. These guys, I see these all the time too, but I never know what they are, so I never buy them. Lord. Dolce de ma Mazapan peanut candy. All right, so let's just open one. Uh, Mazapan made by De La Rosa. Mazapan is a classic melt-in-your-mouth Mexican candy made from crushed peanuts and sugar. This delicate and crunchy candy is an all is a favorite all around Mexico. I have a feeling it's. I'm thinking it might taste like payday. Maybe. That's what it looks like. Oh, that's weird. It almost tastes like cookie dough. It's not bad. But I still, and like, seeing them now in the store, I wouldn't buy them. It's not something I need to have. It's very it's, peanutty. It reminds me of something else. I'm trying to work on that now. It's very peanutty. It's like a nougat. Uh-huh. Like a payday. Plus... <laughs> Las Cevalanas? Whoa. Again, there's three of them. Las uh, There's three of them, so we'll just open one. This one's actually open already, so I'm going to throw it away. Here, open that one. We have um, Las Obe Obleas. Obleas? Made by Las Cevalanas. Obleas consists of sweet goat's milk, think caramel or dulce de leche, sandwiched between wafers. These wafers are simply a vehicle for the caramel center. Obleas have the perfect amount of sweetness, just enough for, for a satisfying treat. You got me a wafer, because I love anything with wafers. That looks, that looks interesting. Munch. Hmm. So I was only par partially paying attention. What was in the middle? <laughs> Caramel. Goat's milk. Sweet goat's milk. 
It says think caramel or a dulce de leche sandwich between wafers. I, I definitely taste the goats. Like it tastes like goat cheese. It's really weird. It's not bad. It's pretty good. That's interesting. It's interesting, yeah. Okay, the next thing is rancheritos. Rancheritos made by Sabritas. Rancheritos are a corn chip that is a favorite all over Mexico. These crunchy chips have a mix of chili powder and spices, giving it a unique, bold flavor. Try eating these with some guac or salsa. You'll thank us. Mm. It looks like bacon on the front, didn't guac. it? Mm, you're not really going to see that. So. It's just a chip. Looks like a Dorito. Oh. That's pretty good, actually. Ooh, that's good. Better than a Dorito. That's better than a Dorito. Ooh, that's got a nice taste. Not cheap, not that cheesy, like a no. Dorito, like a cheesy, cheesy Dorito. No, it's really good. It's got more tostita. I'm a, I'm a chip person. I love chips. It's really good. It's made by the Pepsi company. I figured. Wow, those <clears> are good. <throat> I like those. So basically it's just a Dorito in a different way. It's bag. like a spicier, <laughs> it's like a spicier Dorito. I feel like I tasted I even, lime. I tasted some lime and kind of, I tasted like salsa kind of. Not like the, that Fuego one. Right. Strawberry and hazelnut or hazelnut and vanilla? Which one should we open? I will always go for the strawberry, but... Let's do that one. So there is a hazelnut vanilla and a strawberry hazelnut, and that's what it looks like. It's really strange looking, I'm not going to lie. It looks. It almost looks like the those ones where you got to mix it. Yeah. Um, it comes with a little spoon on the bottom. It does. It says Duvalin, by, made by Ricolino. Duvalin? Duvalin? I don't know. I'm probably butchering half of this stuff. I'm sorry is a sweet snack that has a consistency of cake icing. There are two flavors in your box, hazelnut strawberry and vanilla hazelnut. You can try it with a different with different snack items like pretzels or cookies, or simply enjoy it on its own. This is a favorite in Mexico because it's basically a small tub of frosting. Who doesn't okay. love frosting? There's something wrong with her. I would just take a bowl of chips and salsa any day over dessert. That's just me. Alright, so that's what it looks like. And yeah, it pretty much smells like cake frosting. It's kind of gross. Oh. Cake frosting? That's cake frosting. Ugh. They said to dip pretzels in it. It's probably good if you dip pretzels in it. Right? I like the chocolate better than the strawberry. Yeah. Okay. Boo boo lubu. I'll try it with them. Boo boo lubu. Boo boo lubu made by Ricolino. Boo boo lubu mm. is a candy bar with a strawberry jelly and marshmallow center covered in milk chocolate. This bar has so many flavors and textures, it's one of the best Mexican candies out there. Oh, Give this bar a try after being frozen. Many people enjoy eating it that way as well. Oh, uh, that's a bummer because this is kind of really mushy and I would have liked to have froze it. Ew. 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 It looks gross. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It's a little melted. It's like juicy. It's juicy. It's juicy. That's because it's the strawberry. It's red. Take a bite. Good bite. That's, it's got. That's actually really good. But, side note, I love anything with marshmallow. I like that. That's good. Interesting. Alright. That is really good, actually. You liked it? It's really good. I like anything with marshmallow like that. Yummy. Very sticky, though. All right, so we have this guy. This looks interesting. This is called Pelon, Pelon Pelo Rico, made by Grupo Loren, Lorena. A soft tamarind flavored jelly candy that oozes out in strings from a plastic dispenser. 
When you can't push down on the dispenser anymore, pull the green part out and you'll discover more of this glorious goo to enjoy. Ooh. I don't know. I'm gonna push down. I understand you push down, but is that a lid? There you go. Ooh, I'm not eating that. <laughs> I'm not eating that. <laughs> so, there you go, and then you take the lid off. It looks like boogers. <laughs> it's so gross. Put your hand on it. It's so gross looking. You have to try it. Get the lid back on there, because Eric is definitely trying this one. Yeah, but you're sticking your mouth on it, so he just... I'm not going to stick my mouth on it. You were trying I'm it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I'm not trying this. You're trying it, or I'm not doing a video with you ever again. <laughs> no, you have to try it. Okay. Tamarind, tamarind, however you say that, I love that. <laughs> so that's there. the flavor of this. I like it. I, I just tasted it. I like it. Squeeze. Yeah, you don't have to squeeze more. You're not going to like it. No? Mm -mm. Why? Because I just know you're not going to like it. Fruit roll-up. I like it. It's a fruit roll-up. It's like a spicy and sweet fruit roll-up. It's definitely a little, I don't know, spicy. I like it. But I don't like the way it, I mean, like the presentation of this is just not right. It's gross. So what? It's gross. Not whatever. Anyway. Okay. And then the only thing left in here are these, which I'm not going to open these. You guys all, pretty much everybody knows what these are. This is the same thing that he just tasted. Um, it's a melon lollipop covered in the tamarind flavor, which is freaking delicious. I love these things. I actually bought a bag of them last year and um, gave some to trick-or-treaters and kept some for myself. So these are freaking phenomenal. I love them. And then the last thing in here are these. Oh, let me read you what this said, by the way. These. This is a chili mango lollipop made by Vero, a delicious mango flavored candy covered in a mildly spicy chili coating. Giving these addicting, give these addicting suckers a try. You'll experience two waves of flavor. After the spicy, you'll discover the sweet taste of mango. So good. And then these are all in the bottom of the box here. Take one. I'm gonna like these too. These are. Glad we don't have to open the pops because I. <laughs> Pico Goma Tamarindo made by Vero. Pico Gomas are a tamarind flavored gummy coated with hot chili and sugar. Savor the chili coating until it's gone and the gummy has a smooth texture, then chew through the sweet gummy center. Oh. I'm gonna like this. I'm gonna like it. It's the same as this. It's the same as this lollipop. Oh, he doesn't like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. I like it. Ah! That's what this is. Ah! That's what this is. Oh, yuck. I like it. Oh, it's chewy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> ah. What's that frosting? It's chewy. <laughs> I'm going to spit it out. Oh. I'm just going to spit it out because for me it's kind of a texture thing. I had to chew it too much. I don't like, I mean, I like the flavor, but I can't chew it that much. Ah, thank God for the frosting that coats the tongue. Oh my God. That was nasty. I like that. All right, guys. So this was Journey Bites, the Mexican. These were the Mexico treats. If you're interested in Journey Bites, go to journeybites.com. And you could check this out. I think it's so cool that you could try all of these different snacks from the country. And if you like one in particular, you could just order that one. I think that that's a really cool option because you don't have that with other food subscription services. So if you do love any of this stuff, you could order it directly from them. It's very cool. Yes. So check them out. And we will see you guys all in another video. If we ever get any more food boxes, then you may see Bill again. But I think we're, I think we're done for now. So, um, so that's all we have. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.